Welcome to Marty's Toy Box, where we discuss, unbox, and review wrestling figures from all around the world and from all different time periods. On today's video, we have some very exciting news. Mattel has just announced new action figures for the WWE Elite Series line. Starting it off, we have Eric. Now, Eric does have all of his Viking gear on. Let's go right, focus right here on his right shoulder. Um, I've got like the shoulder padding with the three layers that is very, very detailed and looks really nice. Um, they've got his little belt satchel type thing that he wears. Um, that is de very detailed. Um, not much to see about his trunks right here and not much to see about his boots. Again, this is the prototype. It's not painted yet, of course. Um, but when, they're, when they be released, I will definitely be reviewing it. And also, he's got um, his wrist protector um, Viking thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and then his horns on his face. And just like face scan. By the looks of it, you can't really tell without paint. Well, you kind of can. But by the looks of this face, it looks phenomenal. Amazing job by Mattel. Now, for this figure right here, we have Ivar. Now, this Ivar is a lot more detailed than Eric is. So, again, they have the um, wrist Viking protector pad sort of thing. And also the shoulder pad. But Ivar, he has his um, trunks. With the, I call these the flappy things. So I don't really know what they're called. And this has all the Viking stuff on it. I don't know what this means, but it's like the logo that... Um, Ivar wears, so they did incorporate that, which is very nice to see. And also, they have the um, cross, it almost is, um, like ritual type thing, it might be. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you guys. Um, it's got all the, like, the small circles, like, lining out his trunks and stuff. Um, yet again, not much to see about the boots, it's just normal boots, and I don't really, I guess these are his legs. It's, his legs kind of look weird, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, he's got his belt as well and his long, long, long beard. Now, his horns are different from Eric's, actually. As you can see, Eric's are pointing down, um, and Ivar's are pointing out, and he has, like, an extra pair of horns, it looks like. So he has these main ones pointing out, and then he has these super detailed, like, smaller ones, which this is normal, but this right here, his, um... What's something they call it? A headband type thing? It's not really a headband. It's a lot harder than that, of course. Um, but the um, crown sort of Viking thing he wears on his head, um, they did, in fact, incorporate into the figure. Now, these are the only two figures that were announced. But, 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 don't you go yet. We are going to talk about Elite Series 67 and 68 that were announced at WrestleMania. If you have not seen them, Stick around, and we are going to go in depth of them. So starting it off, we have these four people right here. We have Ronda Rousey, Rick Rude, AJ Styles, and Bobby Heenan. No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, Bobby Heenan. Um, so the Rowdy Ronda Rousey, the attire is good. The, she looks a little, um, she needs to be a little more musk. No, she's like she was like this when uh, she was with WWE at the time. Um, her face paint, I'm sorry, but I never liked Ronda Rousey's face paint or, like, hairdos or anything. Well, eye paint more than it is face paint. Um, but they didn't incorporate that. She got a really ugly, 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 um, look on her face. Um, and then Rick Rude over here, his attire looks phenomenal. Um, they've got the flames, they've got all the right colors and everything. And then you have the OC styles, um, which I don't know... I would probably pick this up if I were you, if you are a collector who gets toys and resells them in a year or two later, because this will be the last AJ Styles figure with the OC outfit, seeing as Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows are not currently with WWE because they were released about like a month ago. So we have Bobby Heenan over here, his red attire with his um, cane, very good face cam with his finger pointing up like always. Um, so this is Elite Series 77, I'm pretty sure. Now this, Randy Orton, is, um, uh, he might be part of 77 or 78. Um, all these pictures I'm showing you are 77 and 78, um, uh, but they might not be in order, just to let you guys know. 
Oh, this Randy Orton, this face scan, he looks, he's got a very ready to strike, vicious look on his face right there. Mattel has absolutely nailed his tattoos. It's kind of blurry from the picture, but you can tell they look really good. They've got his masculinity right. Um, they've got his, um, like, I don't know what to call these, but the logos on his trunks and an RKO on his knee pads. He comes with an interchangeable pair of hands, and he comes with a jacket. Now, I don't know if they've released any other Randy Orton's with a jacket, but this jacket looks phenomenal. This looks exactly like the one he wears on TV. I mean, it is pretty basic with just black and then like sleeveless and says RKO on it. But I still think this figure looks amazing. The next that we have Viscera with the hardcore title. Um, as you can see, not much to see about him. He wears the same attire all of the time. Um, but this is not in the picture, but he does, in, the, in fact, come with the uh, hardcore title. Um, that is very, very nice. Um, yeah, he comes with his manager, of course. Um, just yellow and red, not a bad outfit. I mean, okay, let's look at his face skin real quick. His face skin looks good. Um, can't really see his eyeballs. Um, but yeah, this, he wore the same attire all the time, so it shouldn't be hard for them to be able to make new Viscera, um, figures. Um, so that's why, but, I mean, it looks really good to me. Um, coming up next, oh, what is going on? There we go. Coming up next, we have The Fiend. Now, this is the first Elite Series Fiend that comes with a lantern. Um, this doesn't come with it, it just uses it to hold the hands. Um, but man, this figure looks phenomenal. I cannot not, I cannot wait to have this inside of my collection. As you can see, the lantern right here looks very good. Um, I feel, actually, I feel the inside part, um, shouldn't be that yellow. Um, uh, but it might not be that yellow, um, when it comes out. Who knows? Um, they've nailed the attire on the Fiend. Again, that's pretty basic. Just the red and black stripes and the black, um tank top but the tattoos they did a phenomenal job on props to Mattel for this if you can if you've seen Bray Wyatt before I've actually met him in person about like last year um I know he did get more tattoos and stuff while he was injured recently or before he came back as the fiend but I mean the tattoos that he had when I met him look identical to this now the fiend mask very well done and they nailed it out of the, they knocked it out of the park with this fiend figure and the face paint. The face paint looks so real, and also he comes with an inter interval change of hands, interchangeable pair of hands. God, I cannot speak this morning, guys. Uh, but he got another pair of hands that you can put on. Um, this could be for the stuff like mandible claw, um, and for other stuff like that. Um, he doesn't really show his entrance, but I mean, these extra pair of hands are really cool. It says hurt and heal, of course. So do these ones, though. Um, the Fiend figure looks amazing. Up next, we have the Legends line that is finally coming back that I am very excited for. So starting off the Legends line that will be coming out within the next couple of months, um, we have Jake the Snake Roberts. Now, this face scan on Jake the Snake Roberts is phenomenally done. Um, Dick the Snake Roberts, if you guys don't know, is an AEW right now, managing Lance Archer. So I don't really know um, if they're running into issues for putting the Legends out. I don't think they will because they have rights for it. Um, but anyways, his tights right here. Um, he's got the snake wrapped around it, of course, as always. Um, his boots, there's not much to see there. The same with like his uh, body, like his upper body. But this face scan looks phenomenal. I would not think that... Um, this is anyone else. I, s I would think that this is just a very bad pixelated image of Jake the Snake Roberts a few years ago. Because this picture is amazing. The face scan, the paint, and everything that it, and they nailed. And he also comes with a snake that looks really detailed and a snake bag. That's the first figure of the Legend series. Next up, we have this guy. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I cannot tell by the face scan of it. If I'm being honest with you guys, but it looks really good in my opinion, so let's skip past that and ignore me being stupid with wrestling figures. Um, this is Bobby Heenan. I'm, yeah, this is Bobby Heenan when he did wrestle 
with his white jacket, like full body jacket, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it is like half singlet type thing. Kind of felt Andre the Giant more, but of course this guy is much smaller than Andre the Giant was. Um, his face scan is very well done, um, as you can see right there. Yet again, um, not much to see about the attire, it's just black. Um, it gives with an interchange interchangeable pair of hands, and then this jacket looks really good. It looks like it's a um, warm, fuzzy jacket almost. Hopefully, that's what the cloth feels like. Next up, we have the Legends Ultimate Warrior. Now, it was very nice for Mattel to make this. Um, this is the Ultimate Warrior we saw um, the night that he did, in fact, pass away um, after Monday Night Raw, after being inducted into the Hall of Fame ceremony. Um... It was, it's very nice of them, and the figure is very well done inside of his honor. Um, the face looks really good, um, and they've also got the mask you can put on if you want. Um, kind of how he had it on his speech on Monday Night Raw. He had the mask on like a podium, and he was just talking with the fans as not Ultimate Warrior, but his real life persona. Now he comes with an inter interchangeable pair of hands yet again. Um, this is like a pointy, pointer one, kind of if you want to do his entrance um, with this figure. I don't really see why you would, though. It's more of a display figure, um, and it represents a very sad time in history um, if you're a WWE fan. Um, but they nailed the face scan, and they nailed the mask. Next up, we have Triple H. Now, this is a two-pack. I'll be showing these back-to-back, um, -back, and these two go together. And Mattel knocked it out of the park with this. I'll talk about what I mean with that and the next, when I show you the next figure. Um, but the Triple H, uh, it's Hunter Hearst Helmsley, of course. Oh, no, it's Triple H. But um, like shortly after his change from Hunter Hearst Helmsley to Triple H, um, he's got his black attire, of course, with his knee pads, as you can see right there, that they nailed. Um, not much to say about his body. His face scan, from this angle, looks pretty good. It comes with an interval, an interchangeable pair of hands yet again, and a cloak that he wore, well, jacket, cloak, whatever you want to call it, he comes with it. Now, Mattel finally released a China action figure. Now, WWE shut China out of history for a while, for years upon years, and they finally started mentioning her, mentioning her again. Um, about a year or two ago, and Mattel, when they heard that, they f started working on a China action figure, and she comes with the WWE title um, that she did hold, of course. Um, not much to see about her attire again. she got handcuffs there. She's got a nice necklace on, um, her like, um, bra strap thing. That, it's not a bra strap, but... Whatever you want to call this part, I'm not a girl, so I don't know. Whatever you want to call this, um, she has with it and her tights with the holes in the side and an interchangeable pair of hands yet again. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Let me know what figures you guys are most excited for, and I cannot wait to see the finished painted product of the Viking Raiders. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.